The upcoming Omics Logic program will be focused on transcriptomics. We will have almost three months to discuss the various aspects of RNA-seq data analysis and how this field of bioinformatics continues to evolve. The year 2020 marks a 70-year mark since the discovery of the structure and function of the DNA molecule. By 2015, the 1000 Genome Project brought a significant number of whole genome sequences to the research community. And in 2018, over 100,000 whole genomes were sequenced. Today, there is an ever-increasing number of genomic, transcriptomic, proteomic, and metagenomic datasets available that describe subcellular processes with highly detailed digital data. In this program, we will focus on one type of this data, transcriptomics. This program will cover analysis of gene expression data with practical sessions and online tutorials. Anyone with a basic knowledge of cell and molecular biology will be able to conceptually understand, as well as practically apply standard data analysis tools to process, analyze, and interpret complex transcriptomic data. We will do so by leveraging regular online webinars, practical exercises, and online courses. In addition to online courses, all participants will get access to hands-on exercises and datasets for practice. These can be completed without any coding using the analytical T-BioInfo platform that provides an interactive learning experience. The platform is color-coded to help establish a logical connection between theoretical aspects of data analysis methods and the practical steps needed to achieve a biologically interpretable result. A major topic of analysis of transcriptomic data is identification of differentially expressed genes and isoforms. The online session will supplement information offered in Transcriptomics 2 module that describes a number of statistical techniques typically used for simple and more complex approaches to finding differentially expressed genes. Exploring data and understanding its statistical properties can help us spot technical variation that can have unwanted effects on our analysis. Some of the techniques are easy to use and can be done in Excel or any other type of table manipulation software. Others require a more streamlined approach. Many of these are available on the analytical platform we will use. Once the data is standardized and prepared, we will learn about working the identified genes to arrive at a biological interpretation of our results. Oftentimes, standard statistical tests do not capture the granularity of expression data in a given data set. To learn about methods that can handle complexity that is typical for large omics data sets, we have to learn about additional methods of dimensionality reduction, data mining, and classification. For example, PCA can help us understand variability between samples by analyzing all of our data features. We can use such dimensionality reduction techniques to get a better insight of our data set and visualize it. As a result, we can study genes, how they describe samples in our data set, and how this correlates with phenotypic information we have for biological or even clinical interpretation. Mastering these methods will help you understand biomarker discovery and patient stratification, both of which use predictive modeling and feature selection. Finally, we will conclude the program speaking about single cell transcriptomics. Single cell transcriptomics helps identify all messenger RNAs present in a single cell. Unlike bulk RNA-seq profiling, where sequencing libraries are generated from thousands of cells, sCNA-seq technologies isolate single cells and generate cell-specific sequencing libraries. Each participant will have an opportunity to study these techniques in the context of a project. We prepared a number of various examples you can pick from, ranging from biomedical to agrobiological studies. Many of our past participants had a chance to present their analysis in front of their classmates or even conference poster sessions and workshops. The materials we collected have been reviewed by faculty and students from top U.S. and international universities. This kind of feedback demonstrates that the learning will be effective and even transformational. 